now if you'll pay attention a moment or two. I'll tell you a story I'm not to be true. In a small country village near Carmel the Hill, the tells his story that men do still. It's a book when the dust went from the place of the Oh, hello there. I hope you're keeping well. Me? Well, I'm writing a new book. Well, trying to. The trouble is, at the minute, the words just aren't coming to me. See, I love to write stories about our region and all the people that have lived here and called it home. The trouble is, I think I've got a bit of that old writer's block. My, it takes me back to every time I've heard it. You know, I think I might have a solution to this writer's block problem. I'm going to have a walk round South Tyneside, the place we love. Girl, what you do you? Come on, come with me for a nice walk. I think I'll start where my story began. I was born on this very street at 5 Hadrian Road, Jarrow. It's not far away from what used to be the Robin Hood pub that always seems to get a mention on TV during the Great North Run. We'll have to tell the commentator, Steve Cram, to change his script. It's called Vespa now. Oh, As a baby, I moved from Hadrian Road to Hope Street, Jarrah, and my first job was in the Mercantile Dry Dock, which was only a few hundred yards away from Hope Street. Is the one for me. How are you the day? How are you the day? How are you the day, me hinny? Oh, and what la day with me heron's eyes? Oh, what my granny was a lady driller in the shipyards during World War I and was very proud of that. My granda was a rigger in the shipyards all his life. Did you work there? Or perhaps someone in your family? Chances are the might have. How are you the day? How are you the day? How are you the day, me hinny? Oh. Walking round here, it's just so different from how it was. The regal stood here. With me ma, I saw seven brides for seven brothers. It was one of the first films I saw. I loved the colours. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I would go here with my mum and grandmother to collect their co-op dividend. When I went by myself, I'd mumble the divvy number over and over. <laughs> It's funny, the little things that come back to you. Jarrah's Town Hall. I always loved the look of this place. And Charlie Palmer's just across the road. <laughs> And it was here, on October the 5th, 1936, that 200 men from Jarrah marched to London in protest of unemployment and poverty. The marchers went down Grange Road, turned left into Hill Street, and then into immortality. I have had a hard times as well, but they've always made us stronger.
I lived in Collingwood Street, and when I walked home from the ferry landing near Hawthorne Leslie's, I would look up at the dark sky. Part of the reason was that in those days we had cool fires. I worked over the river at Wall's End. I'd get the ferry every morning and night with hundreds of others. I can still see people walking up the bank to St Andrew's Church. A fair young maid come down the street, some white fish fall to buy, and a bonny clerk fell in love with her, and he followed her by and by. He followed her by and by. HMS Kelly was built here. What's left of this once great shipyard? Many people in the town were employed in the shipyards on the time, and factories like the Pirate Tina. And in the mid 1960s, 10,000 people worked at Rero. Here I am in Heaven the Cemetery, and this is the Kelly gravestone, commemorating the men of HMS Kelly who were killed aboard the ship. I think I'll head back to South Shields which has a tremendous seafaring tradition. On the way to South Shields, I passed the Bee Train Estate, which was developed after the Second World War to resolve the area's unemployment problems. The 1930s were hard years for many on South Tyneside. We're in Simonside, where I worked at SPD, a transport firm. On the same estate, lots of South Tyneside people worked at cigarette components. I'm just on my way to what would have been the Tyndock Arches. You knew that once you were through the arches, you were in South Shields. How things change, yes. For 25 years, the Customs House has provided art and entertainment for South Tyneside. Ray Spencer, the director of the Customs House, can see where his dad worked in Middle Docks from his office window. The missions to seafarers is still very much part of the area's seafaring community. Sometimes I really feel the past. All these people, their lives tied to the sea. It's in their blood. My uncle went to sea all his life. And he'd come back and sign on at the pool for another new ship. In a short distance, there was three shipyards. Brigand and Cowan's, which is now a housing estate, although the docks remain. Middle Docks, where Ray's dad worked, and Redhead Shipyard. You know, all this walking has worked up an appetite. I think I'll head to Ocean Road and pay a visit to my favourite fish chip shop, Cormans. Come here, me little chucky, never 
Oh, I love this. Such a treat. A real local treasure. Sing, sing, mummy, sing. Thank Excellent. You Thank, you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I better walk this off. Are you coming? As me and me mama was coming to walk, we met with the devil. It was in the dark. I opened me pick, it was in the neat. I knocked off his horns, likewise his club feet. Follow the horses, Johnny me laddie. Follow them through me. Canny Most of Bowden is made up of new housing which was once mainly farmland. In the 1970s, working men's clubs were thriving. Today, many are closing down. But in Bolden, the shack still survives. This is where Bolden Colliery stood. The pit closed in 1982. It had been there for 114 years. For many, it was the heart and soul of Bolden Colliery. I do like to wonder down Front Street East Bolden. It has some fantastic pubs with some beautifully quaint cottages packed with English charm. You know, I think that writer's block might have lifted. It's funny, sometimes the best way of knowing where to go is by reflecting on where you've been. Thank you for joining me on my walk. Tirano. And God bless. Or somebody you know are worried about their memory or affected by dementia. The earlier you seek help, the sooner you can receive support and information. You can do this by visiting your GP or by contacting the Alzheimer's Society on their national helpline on 0300 222 You can also visit the webpage at alzheimers.org.uk or by contacting the local office in South Tyneside on 0191 427 5443 where somebody will be able to give you support. Thank you.